It's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We are joined by Kimberly Gunderson. She is the Executive Director of New Community Vocational Academy, a faith-based private high school in the city of Pomona. The work you are doing, I mean, you're angelic, if I may say. Oh, <laughs> you're sent right. from angels. I mean, <laughs> I trust you, so yes. Yeah. Tell us about this school, which grew out of what's known as a small school movement. Right. We actually we were running an after-school program mm -hmm. um, for high school kids in the city in the mm -hmm. neighborhood, mm -hmm. and I began to see that not every kid was really right. benefiting from a traditional model of education. And um, it's great for a lot of kids. Learning is fun, and they're they're thriving. And it's interesting you mentioned and you say it the way you say it. Because it's not as if these are necessarily bad kids oh, or discipline problems. No. They just are not able to learn at their maximum potential in a large school environment. Some of them are dealing with issues we never anticipated. Right. Some of them is an anxiety of large campuses, large classrooms. Uh, some are experiencing bullying. Sure. Some are experiencing learning delays or learning gaps where right. they kind of fell behind. Some are having trouble passing the exit exam. Mm. And so when the kids come to us, I'm, I'm kind of astonished that what they're looking for is another way to learn. And how do they get to you? That's really my key question. Word of mouth. It we've is. been out there. We've been putting our name out. We get to meet right. you. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Right. And at this stage, you have 17 students. Yes. But what's exciting from my viewpoint is that when you hear the term vocational, you presume it's a, a path that does not include a diploma or at oh. least college. But like, yeah, tell me. Actually, we're a full academic program. We're a Monday to Friday school. We're not like an addendum to what they're right. already doing. We're, right. you know, they have a full graduation, a full diploma. We're accredited right. high school, a private high school. Um, and so our students, what we require of all of them is 11th and 12th grade, our oldest grades. They have to attend uh, CTEC, which is a program at uh, Fairplex okay. in Pomona. Oh, sure. And they're learning a variety from water technology, ceramics, hospitality, culinary wow. arts, kind of giving even college-bound students something that they're good at. When you think about a private school, you think about tens of thousands of mm -hmm. dollars a year. Mm -hmm. You're a private school. You're not tens of thousands mm -hmm. of dollars a year. What's your tuition, if I may ask? Well, I always love to say we're $1,000 a, a year. A year. Not thousands, 8,000. 8,000, and we're not supported by tuition, obviously. Right. We're supported by the donations of people who believe in what we're doing. That being said, even though your school is relatively affordable, for some, $1,000 is a lot of money. Yeah. And do you consider scholarship applicants? Completely. We call them sponsors, and they actually can, if they want to, actually build a relationship with a student. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. oh, that's interesting. Um, last year, one of our graduates, her sponsor showed up. He'd been with her two years. Uh, spot, letters back and forth. He would come to all of her events oh and um, presented her with a gift on graduation. Oh and then my. this year he came to me and he said, now she's graduated. Could I have another student? Oh, I got to start know. crying. And he's like in his 80s. You're kidding. Mm -hmm. he, he just loves what Why what are do. you doing this? Why are you doing this? Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just believe in students having options. I mm -hmm. feel like... Um, like I said, we want kids to learn to love learning again. Right, right. And some kids have lost the love of learning. Yes. And four years is a really long time if you don't enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And kids get out of high school, I think they've kind of lost their love of learning. And what's interesting is, you know, so often you hear, if you've lost them in middle school, you've lost them. My guess is you don't believe that. <laughs> no. You don't believe that. No. You're ready to bring them back. We are, and it's right. and like I said, though it was astonishing. We started for uh, with 11th and 12th graders. Right. We thought we would get kids that um, were going to drop out, right. drop out risks. And then what we found is we have kids that are um, barriers to learning that aren't academic. Her name is Kimberly Gunderson. She is the executive director of the New Community Vocational Academy, NUCOVA. It is a private faith-based school in the city of Pomona doing remarkable work. Congratulations. I'm Brad Pomerantz. It's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.